We're looking at eye draw again today. It's been a while since we did a video on eye draw, so here we are. Let's jump right in. I recently reinstalled Mac OS um, and updated to Yosemite and consequently had to reinstall all of my apps as well. And uh, so I want to take this opportunity to show you how to import custom shape libraries because I, I lost those on my local drive. So I've got to put them back in. It's very easy to do. I just have a, a logo project open here that I'm working on, but that doesn't really matter. You just need this pop up in this this uh, the shape library uh, window. Then uh, this gear icon right here on the right side, just click that and say import shape library. Then you navigate to the place where you have the libraries. I've got a few here and I'll put these in the description. These are uh, all free. You can use these however you want. These are my anchors that I created and I'm going to open that up. There we go. There's my anchor library. Okay. Let's import another one. So click that, uh, that little gear again. Import shape library. I'll do the captain icons. It's a great icon set. There we go. It's really quick, really speedy. And import mini icons. There we go. Now, the same way, say that you you created a whole bunch of uh, shapes, or um, I do this sometimes for for my clients. Uh, if I do like ongoing work, I'll go ahead and create a a custom shape library just for them, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Um, again, if I click this icon, I can say new shape library. I'm going to call this one a Brewer. Now I have a, a blank shape library in here. And what I want to do is just click on the group or shape that I want to add into the shape library and then just click the plus button. And you see that it, it inverts the colors because this is on a, a dark uh, menu background here. And so it makes it much easier to see by inverting the colors. Now say I wanted to just add a piece of, of this, like just the blade. Well, I can go into my layers panel over here drop this down, select just the piece that, that I want. Say I want this grass here, and I can add that just by clicking the plus. And it's just added that piece. And so I can um, quickly build up the shape library of all these different pieces and, and have them ready uh, at my disposal whenever I need to. Just pop open the shape library panel, and I can just drag them in. That simple. So now I can use these on, on other projects. I want to, you know, have this grass, you know, now I could rotate it and I could use it for something else. Uh, really great. And then I also have this, the full logo, which by the way, is a group and you can add groups to the shape library. Now say I wanted to export this library so that I could back it up and save it for later, which is what I did with my other ones. And I, I put them on a, on a, a cloud storage. You can just click that uh, little gear icon again and say export, and it will indicate which one that you're on, you know, that you're, you're actually inside the shape library. So I'm going to say export brewer, and I'm just going to go to the desktop and export it. Now if I show my desktop, you can see I have a brewer.id I draw shapes, and that's a shape library. You can see little thumbnails of them there. And it's just that easy. I will put the, the three shape libraries that I just imported in the description so that you can download them as well. Uh, they're in a box folder, so you can get a link to that in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.